We swept the decks, cleared off all the old leaves and shavings and whatever that were laid around. Makes it look a bit tidier. Hello, Esvita Pacha. This is the, the true story of, of the build of this 32 foot cruising sailboat built basically by myself. Um, I'm trying to show what it's like to, to, to do a project like this. We're three and a half, almost three and a half years into the build now, and, and there's a record of that build at the very least. And this week, well, as you may have noticed, we didn't get a video out last week due to one thing and another, the weather being part of that. Um, but now it's starting to thaw. Um, there's water dripping off all sorts of things, and uh, it's a bit more comfortable in here. This week's been all about plumbing, running running pipes really, water pipes for tanks in the forepeak, diesel supply pipe for the, uh, for the stove, and bits and pieces, a few other bits and pieces of course, but that's what we've been doing. Um, I say warming up a bit now, getting better, planning to go up to Hazel's boat this weekend coming. One, of, one or two of you were asking about progress on that and hopefully I'll have something to show you next time. Uh, see how we get on. There's a lot to do up there as well. Uh, but let's see what's going on. friends. Thank you. 
bit further over. Right, here we come then. Spot quite a lot there. Oh, oh. It easy, isn't it? Must have been nearly yeah. through. <laughs> yes. That should go in there, all, all being well. Like that. Perfect. Yeah, that'd be all right, wouldn't it? Like that. Oh, beautiful, wasn't it? With a bit of that, that way, I think. Okay. Look at that. So yeah, just drilled the holes for the deck filler for the water and for the diesel actually and then we've got this bit of inch and a half pipe that comes through there for the filler and it's been a bit of a struggle to get it through. I guess you know the holes I cut in the in the shelves there for it to run through were, were fairly tight and then because the angles it's, it's been a struggle to get it through but we have it. It's the right length at the top. Just got to cut this off, put a Y in for the fillers for the two tanks. Good one.
Here's a view into the below the forward bunk, the water tank connections. As you can see, largely connected up now. Two fillers connected up. The deck fitting for the fillers not in because I need to be able to epoxy the end grain of the, of the ply and it's been too cold to do anything with epoxy. But the fillers through to there. Breathers are not completely connected, but they're connected up so there's breathers of these two, not uh, still to be connected up to an actual breather. The tank outs are connected, as you can see, up to this valve that allows me to select off or tank one and tank two. And they run off to the pumps in the in the galley and head, so that's all hooked up, ready to go. And I'm quite pleased with that. Looks quite decent, I think. I so say just the breathers to do in the tank and uh, the actual filler, the deck filler fitting. Seems hopeful. Let's try it. Let's try it. That looks hopeful. Good. That looks good. It's worked. Yeah. Get the angle the dangle right. Looks about right. Looks about right. Over in the stove vicinity, you see I've got the, the guardrail fitted. I cleaned that up, fitted it, and various other bits fitted on the stove. I made up a, a metal pipe for the uh, diesel supply, and I've got those boards in for that strange little corner. So that's come in. I've got the chimney, which will run up there through the deck. I've got the chimney and deck fittings on order. I've got a couple of other bits on order that I'm waiting for to finally hook that up, but uh, they should be coming. So that's looking good, quite tidy I think in the galley. Give you a little turn around. I've decided to run a main socket and put two main sockets there somewhere, one from shore power and one from inverter out. So I shall run a bit of mains cable across to there, or as I say, put two sockets in. There's the outlet from the tank. I just got to connect that, put a filter in there. Water trap. That'd be good.
Uh, it's not been the weather for metal work recently, but I've just cut eight of these. Need a bit of shaping up. Pretty heavy duty stainless and they will, will be coming around there for the support webs for the fitting. Early days, but a little bit of progress. That's it for this week. Thanks for watching. Of course, if you've watched this far, there's a good chance you've already subscribed. But if not, please just, just click that old button, give us a thumbs up, leave a comment. All those things go some way, some good way, I think, to, to helping to get this channel out to a wider audience, and that would be nice. We'll be pushing on. See you next time. Bye.